Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just another quick video. Today we're going to go over some of the new features on the Roku OS 9.2. Also, I'm going to show you how to check your current software version and how to manually check for updates. The first new feature is going to be called Roku Zones. When you select Roku Zones, Zones will provide you a curated selection of relevant entertainment from channels across the Roku platform organized in browsable rows such as new releases, free titles, rentals, and more. It also says that it will be updated frequently, so you can come back on a regular basis when you are looking for something new to watch. The next feature is 4K Spotlight Channel. It says launching the channel will now bring you to the 4K Movies and TV Zone, a regularly updated and hand-curated selection of 4K titles from channels across the Roku platform. Browse from categories such as most popular, action, and more. If you have a voice remote, you can say, show me 4K movies, and you'll see the result for a variety of 4K movies. The next new feature is going to be a shortcut section on your Roku home screen. A new shortcut section has been added to your home screen to help reduce the number of steps you need to take to perform popular actions. Roku players will have a shortcut tile to add channels, and Roku TVs will have shortcut tiles to add channels and set a sleep timer. More shortcuts are expected to be added over time. To find the shortcut section, simply press up on your Roku remote when you are at the top of your home screen. The next new feature is going to be a Roku Tips and Tricks channel. Here you will be able to learn more about the features that the Roku players and TVs offer. For example, how to search using your voice remote, how to share your mobile screen using the Roku app, how to watch free content on Roku, watch the Roku channel on your mobile device, and private listening. This next feature allows you to control multiple Roku devices with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. An update has been made to Roku's Amazon Alexa skill as well as Roku Google Assistant action, allowing you to choose to control some or all of your Roku devices in your home. After linking your preferred devices, you can simply say which device you want to control with voice commands like Alexa, pause living room Roku, or, hey Google, turn off bedroom Roku. Last, we have the new Roku Voice feature. If you own a Roku TV, you can now set a sleep timer using Roku Voice. Simply press and hold the Roku Voice button on your Roku remote. Here in this next page, it will show you what devices will be able to get this new 9.2 update. And just keep in mind, all the links to these articles will be down in the description, so if you want to take a closer look. So here we have current Roku models. The following models are currently being manufactured and are supported. The next section is updatable Roku models. The following models are no longer manufactured, but could run the latest Roku operating system. And the third section, legacy models. The following models have been discontinued and cannot run newer Roku operating systems. This link will be down in the description if you want to check if your device can receive new updates. Next, I'm going to show you how to check your current software version and how to manually check for updates. First step is you want to be in the home screen. Once you're in the home screen, you're going to go down to settings. You are going to click OK. Once you are in settings, you are going to go down to system. And you will click on system. Once you are in system, you are going to go down and click on system update. Here you will see your software version. Mine is currently 9.1. And something to keep in mind, your Roku player checks for the software and channel updates automatically once per day. So you do not have to go in here and check every day. The player will do it itself. But you can always come in here and manually check for updates. And all you have to do is click check now. And if your software is all up to date, it will say all software is up to date. Before I go, I want to thank all my new subscribers and everyone who likes these videos. Let me know in the comments below if you will use any of these Roku features. If this video has been informative, please hit that like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.